Lighting will make or break your video, but professional lights, well, they're expensive. So I want to show you a quick and easy way to create low-cost soft lights using just supplies from the hardware store and an office supply store. What's low cost? About $20 a light. So let's get started. What is it that you're going to need exactly? Well, the list of materials, not that big. A reflector pot type lamp. You're going to want either a compact fluorescent or LED style light. You don't want to use a standard incandescent light. They get really hot and that can be a fire hazard. You're going to need a roll of duct tape or gaffer's tape, scissors, mat knife of some sort, a ruler, and a hard straight edge that you can cut with. Finally, you're going to need a piece of foam core. All of the instructions and all of the uh, parts list is available for download here on the site. The first thing you're going to want to do is measure out the dimensions. For this light, I'm going to use the two wings as my source material. So I'm going to just remove those real quickly and carefully. So now I have three pieces, one large rectangle and two long rectangles. And I'm going to use these for the sides of my, of my light. And then I'll use part of this for the base, the back. So I'm going to put this to the side for now, and I'm going to work on the side panels. First thing I want to do is I want to cut this exactly in the middle. So I'm going to take my tape measure and measure it out. And it is 36 inches long. 18 is exactly in the middle. And I'm going to do that for both pieces. So now I have four rectangles that are 18 by 12 in size. I now want to create uh, an angle on this and I'm going to measure on one side two and a half inches in on each end and draw a line to the opposite corner so that I've got an angle. If I'm two and a half inches in and I go to this corner, and I'm going to do this on all four pieces, creating four identical pieces. So now I have four pieces that all look the same. And we're going to connect these together like this. My recommendation is to pre-cut some pieces of gaffer's tape or duct tape. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to put the sides together like this. Hi, Ruby. My dog's here. And I have these little pieces of tape here that I'm using to tack together. This is going to act as an internal hinge when I fold this into the snoot the sides of my, uh, of my light. These form an inside hinge, but the problem is, is that it's black and black absorbs a lot of light. Instead of using black, and you don't have to do this, but this is, a, uh, this is an, an optional way of doing it. I'm actually going to attach a little bit of aluminum foil on the inside. I'm going to, and it doesn't have to be perfect, to help the reflection on the inside of my light. Now, spray mount adhesive is the best way to attach this. They didn't have any in the store, so I'm just going to tack it down with a little bit of white glue. And I'm going to get my um, foil on the inside that looks a little ugly but it doesn't matter because it's going to be covered up with the uh, diffusion on the front you certainly could make it look prettier but for what we need this will work just fine so we're going to now get our interior cleaned up and now I'm going to take those two strips of tape that I had and attach it on the inside to form my box. 
Not pretty, but effective. And uh, I will now clean up the front edge with some tape. And finally, that last seam that I put together after I'd done the foil, I need to strengthen it to make certain that it stays together. So now we've got the sides down and we can put that away, kind of let the glue set up and uh, dry a little bit. I need to create a back piece for this, but the first thing I need are the dimensions on the uh, shade. And so if you remember, that is 13 inches. And so I need a 13 by 13 inch square. And we have our base. And our base here is going to fit on the back of our lamp like so, but we have to figure out the size of the hole for our reflector light. I went through my kitchen trying to find a circle because I don't want it to be exactly the same size because then the light will go through. I want it slightly smaller than my light. I went through my kitchen looking for a bowl and I found a bowl that is slightly smaller, about oh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch smaller in diameter. If I cut a hole about this size, then I'll actually have part of the reflector inside my light, and that's not a bad thing. But I need to find the center point because I want it to be as close to the middle as possible. That looks pretty good. Certainly could do it with a pencil, but I'm just going to score a little bit. And this doesn't have to be exact, but you want to be pretty close. And you're just going to cut out the circle out of the foam core. So now we have a hole and we can place our lamp inside and it's going to fit better. I'm just simply going to tape this lamp into this back plate that we've created. Okay, so now we've got our lamp and we can attach this onto the back. Let's just smooth down the seams and we have a reflector. Well, as you can see, if we just put a bulb in here, it's gonna be pretty harsh. So we need some way to diffuse the light. My favorite material is using parchment paper. Parchment paper is great because it is this really low cost diffusion material. The front of this box is larger than my roll of parchment paper and I'd like it to cover the front. I could take two pieces of parchment paper and do it in two sections and that'd be fine. But today I'm going to use the handy white garbage bag. Low cost garbage bag also works exceptionally well for diffusion. And because these lamps are so cold because we're using compact fluorescent or an LED, remember don't use a standard light bulb, you can get away with it without worrying about melting the plastic on the front. And we need some way to attach it. I use these spring-loaded paper clips. It's a real quick and easy way to clip on the diffusion and remove it to change the bulb or take things apart or change the diffusion material if I need to. So all I need to do is clip on the top. And before I clip the bottom, I want to put in my bulb. So here's my compact fluorescent. Remember not to use an incandescent. It gets way too hot. It'd be a fire hazard. Compact fluorescent light, you want the brightest light you can buy. LED lights are terrific. Uh, they're really bright, very intense, but they're also pretty expensive. And that kind of blows our $20 budget. But a compact fluorescent light will give you terrific light. Remember that when you first turn the light on, it takes a little while for them to warm up to their full intensity. But you now have a lightweight light that will make a huge difference in the quality of your productions. If you need a parts list or step-by-step -step instructions, just go to the website and you can download the documents there for this great, lightweight, low-cost soft light.